with Marvel's Spider-Man 2 right around the corner coming out in October 20th of this fall, there's no speculation and curiosity that goes in the mind of a player such as myself that asks the question, what's going to be in this game? And what changes did they add and what new features there's going to be to come with this new installment? So today, I'm going to be talking about what I want to see and what I'm predicting to go and I'm going to see in the new Marvel Spider-Man video game. So sit tight and let's take you for a ride. Hey guys, Super Saiyan 30 here, and today I'm going to be discussing and talking about what features I'm going to expect or features that I want to see in the new Marvel Spider-Man 2 video game for Insomnia Games. So, to get this thing started off, the last time that we heard news and update from the game, the first second time we heard an update from the game, we got our release date. We are getting the game in October of 20th, that's mid-October, so everyone is hyped and the pre-orders went skyrocketing to the top. In so many games that there have been multiple pre-orders from the collector's edition to digital downloads such as the PlayStation Store and some pre-orders at GameStop. So the game got a lot of expectations and hype from a lot of people. And I won't blame them because these people work day and night to make this game the very best among the best and pretty much I'm pretty sure that they're going to probably going to be the Arkham City of the Insomnia games and when I mean the Arkham City I mean this is going to be the best game in the trilogy there's first Spider-Man then there's Miles Morales and then there's Marvel Spider-Man 2 so I'm going to be discussing what I want to see in features of gameplay mechanics combat stealth traversal and all that other stuff so let's get to the topic at hand the first thing i realized when we first saw the official gameplay at the playstation showcase now a few weeks ago i realized that peter parker aka the og spider-man is going to be donning the black suit throughout the end throughout the story and probably at the end where he takes it off and then we get the venom situation and blah 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 but i want the opportunity to take off and put on the black symbiote suit like they do in Marvel and Spider-Man 3 but I'm not talking about Spider-Man 3 for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 then if you're people that who did not play the layer gen consoles such as GameCube PlayStation 2 I own the PlayStation 2 version of Marvel um, Spider-Man 3 and in the Spider-Man 3 version of the PlayStation 2 you have the opportunity to take off and put on the black suit but you had a limit to where you can go with it if you keep the suit on too long, you'll be consumed by the suit and you will pass out or you'll be turned into Venom or I don't know why they showed that. But I didn't really understand. But you can have the opportunity to put on and take off the suit. And I hope this feature allows you to have that opportunity when you're playing as Peter. So what other features that I would like to see, as I can see in the gameplay now, you have double stealth takedown. So Insomniac Games are really really trying to knock people out of the ballpark like players such as myself to see what other features that they're adding and what other new features. Now we could be able to take down multiple enemies with double stealth and I hope there's an upgrade where you can upgrade your stealth instead of taking down two people you could take down three people at once. So I would really like to see the stealth make a huge upgrade and improvement from the last few two games. And not only that I hope the combat system be a little more fluid and make it a little more challenging. I understand the combat system is trying to you know be just like and feel like Spider-Man but I wanted to also gives that challenging boost where you can do combo cancels and stuff like that so something similar to the devil may cry series yeah for people who play devil may cry you have the opportunity to make stylish combos and doing cancels and stuff like that and it'll give you a rank and determine how much you know how good your combo canceling and your combo extension really plays out and if you do these weird combos and these cancels and badassery you'll be graded on your combo like an s rank can be spectacular spider-man and s a b c d and most likely f if they want to and they give you a cool grade and the higher the grade you'll get extra experience points that'll boost up your you know your spider-man miles and peter so that way you'll get more 
skill points as you progress through the story. So that'll motivate players like me to continue going out there doing crime alerts and, you know, stuff like that. Even though they still do that in the game where you do crime alerts, you get XP. It's not really a lot of XP. It's just a short amount, a small amount of XP. But if you're in combat mode, I hope you get a huge power boost from it. So uh, what I also like to see, I like to see more takedown finishers. So what I also like to see, tag team takedown finishers. If you're playing as not only as both Miles and Peter, I wish you could be able to the opportunity to do what they did from Arkham Knight where in Arkham Knight if you are playing alongside with let's say if you're Batman if Nightwing is there with you Nightwing will fight alongside with you and you can switch between the characters that you want to play as such as if you want to play uh, Nightwing you switch to Nightwing if you want to go back to Batman you can go back to Batman so that would be a great opportunity to see if Insomniac is going to put that in the game where you can not only just play one specific character you can just play another character so if you want to mix up your combat options and cancel you can go to Peter then switch back to Miles and then back to Miles to Peter so like a little combo in somewhat so I would really like to see that in the traversity aka web swinging how to traverse through the city I would like to see some more web swing idle animations such as something cool like in Ultimate Spider-Man the video game in the 2005 comic release you know the comic book Spider-Man Ultimate Spider-Man where you can climb on the webs and boost yourself to get more you know cool you know distance and boost yourself and gain higher distance I wish we could see a more of that we could climb your webs Something like that, and they'll be able to still do the cool swinging animations that they're doing in the gameplay right now. Instead of just seeing the same old, same old animations. And not only that, I hope that we really would like to see more suits. i like to see some more suits return from the first and second game. Like the Uptown Pride suit, which one of my favorite Miles Morales suit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a screenshot right there. Because that is like one of the coolest suits ever in my opinion one of my favorite suits in spider-man miles morales and now the not only that it basically shows inspiration and not only that respect to the black pride month because i am i am a member of the african-american community and i love the pride month i love it every bit of it and not only that i love the gold and black scheme for it it feels like that miles morales Don the mantle of Spider-Man, but he wanted to make his suit the ultimate Spider-Man suit, where he can basically be not only greater, but he can be himself. So he donned black and gold, which is really cool. Not only that, I would really like to see the other new suits make an appearance, like uh, the 2099 suit from the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man, or the classic suit where he starts off at the beginning of the game to take down the Kingpin, and a lot of other stuff. And if they do add the symbiote suit, that is cool. But I think we should get the symbiote suit probably around at the end of the game if we ever, you know, complete the game. I don't know how it's going to work because by the time, by the looking of the gameplay, I think we're going to get the black suit in the beginning and then probably at the end of the game we're going to lose it and i hope that's an unlockable suit because if you guys haven't played the first insomniac spider-man game um when peter was going to get ready to take down dr octavius he had the anti-ox suit basically a counter uh suit to counteract his neurophase arms the neural interphase mechanical octopus arms to counter doc doc ock so i hope that if they, you can unlock the symbiote suit, it'll be something similar like that. So one more last thing that I want to talk about. The villains. How many villains are we going to be playing as? Yeah, true, we're going to get our hands on, the, of course, the lizard, Kraven the Hunter, and one of my favorite anti-heroes and favorite Marvel comic Spider-Man villains of all time, Venom. So what villains are we expecting to see in the game? So by the looking of it in the trailer... Well, at the beginning of the trailer of the gameplay showcase, we look like we're going to be getting a handful of Venom, uh, not Venom, a handful of villains. So we're looking at, look like Black Cat is going to be making a return. Uh, Taskmaster is coming back. The Prowler, aka Uncle Aaron, might be getting out of prison. I think 
so he might be making a return and not only we're gonna be seeing some other new faces we might be seeing the kingpin return we might be seeing some of the members of the sinister sick break out and form a huge alliance where all the villains from the previous games are going to form an alliance to take down both spider-man alongside with craven with the help as the new leader and venom as like the final final boss but i think out of all the villains that i'm expecting i want to see among all of them i want to see wraith if you guys have not played the city that never sleeps dlc yuri watanabe aka yuriko watanabe aka yuri i'm saying that too many times i'm sorry she becomes wraith when she attempts to almost kill hammerhead and she became Wraith and she realized that the justice system is full of bullshit and she became a rogue and she quit the police force and then she dished out her own sense of justice. So it's basically she became Spider-Man's version of the Red Hood. So I expect to see a lot more you know villains but i really want to see how they're going to handle wraith in this situation because i really want to see wraith and i hope that i hope that we do see her in the future and like side missions or something like that alongside with other villains but anyways guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed it make sure you give it a like comment on what you think about it what do you like to see in marvel spider-man 2 let me know in the comment section below and make sure you keep that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with the same universe 24 7 365 until next time, guys, as Super Saiyan 30 always say, I will see you guys on the battlefield. See you guys later.